The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Mother and brothers of Jesus arrived and standing outside, they sent a message asking for him. A crowd was sitting round him, and the time the message was passed to him, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. He replied, who my mother and my brothers? Looking round at those sitting in the circle about him, he said, here my mother and my brothers, anyone who does the will of God that purses my brother sister and mother, the gospel of the Lord. Lord Today our church celebrates the memorial of Timothy and Titus, two bishops of our church. Timothy is the one we know in our gospels, not our gospels, our readings. And the first letter that we read today from St. Paul to Timothy, which is written somewhere between the years of 80 and 100 years after the birth of Christ somewhere 50 to 70 years after the death and resurrection of Jesus. Paul wrote his letter to Timothy and telling him to fan into flame the faith that was given to you when hands were laid upon you. That spirit that came upon you, that's given to you. And Paul is referring initially from that moment of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down in Apostles of Mary in the upper room and they received that Holy Spirit and became followers of God. And days after many people, houses were added to them and through scriptures all that time, people had that process of laying hands, laying hands and so on, and pass on the spirit. Remember, even after yesterday, Paul laid hands on Paul and regained his sight. That was a custom, the practice of that time, laying hands and inviting the spirit of God to come down upon you. Today, we still do it when you do a life in the spirit seminar. But for us, we have all been baptized. We don't wait for hands to be laid upon us, because since from the year, the third century, Baptism, infant baptism, was a part of the way the church moved forward. There's an infant baptism from the year, from the third century. So people were baptized. They didn't wait to have hands laid upon them, as it was done in this time of Paul, Paul writing to Timothy. When hands are laid upon you, you see that spirit. And other parts of the scripture tell us, it is the spirit that cries out, Abba, Father, Abba, God, our Father. It's a spirit that comes to us. But we have received that spirit at our baptism. Because you're baptized as infants, you didn't wait until you became adults. Some people do it through the RSI program. They become members of our church and receive the Holy Spirit and become members of our church. But for us, most of us, we were taken to the church as a little infant and baptized. I received the gift of the Holy Spirit. You became a son and daughter of God, became a member of our holy Catholic church. Our baptism is our genesis, as we were, of our relationship with our God. God has created us, but for us now to be responsible members of our church and of our nation, of our world, the people of God, the family of God, we have our baptism that brings us, initiates us into the word of God, into life that God calls us into. But it's that spirit that has been given to us that makes us sons and daughters of God. It makes us brothers and sisters of Jesus. And that same spirit that calls us to be a witness, a witness to the word, to the word of God that is given to us. Timothy and Titus, they celebrated the word. They spread the word. They spread the word as far as they could because that was their mission, because the spirit of God was working within them. The spirit is there within them. And we too have that spirit. The spirit is given to us. We're the earthen vessels of the Holy Spirit. We don't contain the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in us. And we invite the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. The spirit and hands are laid upon us. When we baptize in a Trinitarian formula, baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So all of us are empowered the same way. All of us are empowered by Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, to use this gift that God has given to us to build God's kingdom. As you see, Timothy and Titus did that with their lives. They gave their lives, they lived their lives serving God. And as we just see, as Jesus told the disciples, the people around him, who are my mother and brother and sisters? Who are they? Who really are they? Because when Jesus said of, mother, of his mother, he had one mother, Mary, brothers and sisters, he spoke about the extended family because they all had large families and their cousins and all that, all were considered their brothers and sisters. He says, oh, my brothers and sisters, the one who does the will of my father, those in front of me, he said, those who do the will of God. So we too 
are all brothers and sisters of our God. And we are able to do this, to become true brothers and sisters of our God through the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit has been given to us at our baptism. The Spirit that makes our crowd Abba Father. That's the Spirit that's given to us. We now have to tap into that Spirit, to put that Spirit to work in us. Don't let it be dormant or latent within us. Let's have that Spirit alive, the Spirit of God that works through us. We have to invite God's Spirit to come, invite, invite Him into our lives so we could be witnesses to the Gospel, witnesses to the Word of God, witnesses by our lives. Our lives are our Bibles. Our lives are the witness that we give to one another. So for us today as we celebrate the moral of these two bishops and saints of our church, Timothy and Titus, who gave their lives, they gave it because the gift of God was given to them by the Spirit. And they cooperated with the Spirit, they invited the Spirit, they lived by the Spirit. They made it possible to do God's will. Let us, as we look at these two saints today of our church, Let's see how our own lives, how we could invite the Spirit of our God into our lives once again. Invite the Spirit to come and lead us and empower us. To give us that freedom to cry out, Abba, Father, to know this, our God. Of that Spirit to lead us to become true sons and daughters of God the Father, and true brothers and sisters of each other, our brothers and sisters of Jesus, and be part of this great holy family, this family of God. This is who we are, a family of God brothers and sisters, sons and daughters of this one God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. So that unifying spirit of the Holy Spirit, God has blessed us and empowered us. Let us receive that power today. Let us receive that renewal in our lives. Allow God to lead us and guide us. So you cry out, Abba Father, I recognize that all of us are brothers and sisters of Christ and sons and daughters of our Lord and our God. Amen.